five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to the Spotty Stream, everybody. How's it going? Happy Halloween to every single one of you. Oh, it's going to be a great night. We got one series for you coming straight from the Skyward series hosted by Radiant Esports. In this series, it says Week 2 Action. It's Overcast Cyan. It says Dragons Defined. And we just recently got an update as well from Overcast Cyan about adding that fifth player, obviously. About 30 minutes ago, they confirmed that they, have, they now have a fifth player on their roster that they could be playing with tonight. It's a... Look out there at BZO. Maybe he'll be maybe he'll be the one playing. But here we are again. It's week two. Both these teams were able to snatch away wins in week one. Well fought victories as well. Now in week now in week two they have to play against each other. And I'm really interested in this one. I I, I am. I, I wanna see I I saw Dragons of Find play last week and get their win that way. As they were able to successfully Take down the opponents in Team Ignition Academy in a Game 5 overtime. That went 7 minutes and 30 seconds long. Overcast Sun had a bit of an easier time there against Illusion White. They didn't have to go to Game 5 with a 7 minute overtime. Instead, this, um, this Overcast Esports Cyan team went 3-0. They swept their opponents to take that win. And now... In this series, they're going to see if they can continue doing that one. As, hello Galaxy Wolf, I do see you there. How you doing? Captain of Dragons Defined. I know you're looking for another win this week. Both these teams looking for another win this week. Rivercast Land did come off, uh, come off the better results statistically with a sweep. A sweep usually does better than a game five, but when it comes to stats, but... We saw how Team Ignition Academy played. They were a very strong team, and they could have very well taken out the series. But that cast Cyan, I, I think for this series right now, they do have that advantage of having that sweep, having that notoriety that they have not lost a single game yet. Dragons Defined is going to try to put a wrench into that. As hello, Young Savage. How you doing? Welcome, man. Hey, we got a, we got a single series tonight, Young Savage. It's Overcast Cyan versus Dragons Defined in the Skyward series. I also want to update all of you on our recent announcements. I now, have a, I now have a Google document schedule sheet. Go take a look at it. Seriously, please, go, go look at the schedule sheet. I, pr I promise you, it's, it's, it's an, it, it, I'm happy that I actually finally got to make, uh, have time to make one because, it, man, so many people uh, definitely will benefit from this. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to work for you. I don't mind putting in a bit of work. Although it's not really that much work in all honesty. It actually makes it easier for me to schedule as well. So I actually know what's open and what's not. As we do have a prediction poll coming out. What do you think will win? Do you think we'll be Overcast Scion on the blue side or Dragons to find another blue logo, but this time they'll be on the orange? We are waiting for both teams to take the field. I'm just going to get them some help here. As we are having I mean, also to confirm one of the players that uh, has joined the lobby. How's everybody doing though? How's everybody's Halloween actually? I haven't heard a lot of people uh, mention about their, about their Halloween night and how it's been going. Mine was rainy. It, it really was. It, there was a, it, it was non-stop pouring during trick-or-treating. For the other people, I don't trick-or-treat anymore, but the people that had to trick-or-treat, I feel for them. It was not a fun afternoon. Or actually, actually, it's evening, but it was also kind of afternoon. It was any, it, which, one of the two. It doesn't... <laughs> I don't really focus on that kind of stuff, but... Yeah, it was a... It was a pouring, pouring night. But I'm happy now that the rain stopped. Ironically, it stops right after the trick-or-treaters and the trick-or-treating ended uh, for most people. I 
Because we are confirming uh, something right now. Hopefully everybody, again, hopefully everybody's doing well out there. I see some uh, messages out there. How am I doing? Oh, I'm doing great. Hello, Boomink. I will be playing as well. Uh, I'm doing fine, man. As we are gonna wait, I do see in the lobby for Overcast, uh, not Overcast, for Dragons Defined is, uh, they do have Galaxy Wolf in here and, uh, as Darth Myths, Baby, and Spirals. Hello, Blue Sabers, how you doing? Man, we're getting all the Overcast Sign players in here. Oh, your lineup's going to be, you do still have a couple minutes to join in. We've got Romanx Sabers and Soldier Gabe running in. Uh, both teams, if, since you are both in the, uh, chat, are you okay with starting early? Uh, just give me a quick, uh, like, yes. I know you can't say anything, but let me know just with a quick, like, yes, if you if you want to uh, start playing earlier. I can do that, because I'll show you these early, or I can wait for uh, the scheduled start time. It, it all comes down to what uh, you, the two captains and, I guess, the rest of the team say. Okay, I hear from Cyan, that's an okay. Just waiting on you, uh, Galaxy. Just let me know. Uh, if you want to start early, or if you want to wait on it. Oh, yeah, hello, oh, oh, hello, everybody. My name is Spotty OC. Nice to see all you uh, coming here to the Spotty stream. Make sure to show your support for which team you want to win. You have about a minute left on a poll. Oh, yeah, I forgot one of the players is AFK. There, yes, one of the players is AFK. I forgot about that. Um, forgot about that one, bro, Mike. Well, at least I asked, you know, and I didn't start it up at the wrong time. Um, yeah, you got you got some time left on this poll to... I get everything ready. Ah, oh, there they are. There is Dragon's Vine. Again, vote! Yeah, now's your time to do it. As we head on to, down to the field for game number one. On the Halloween bash for the Cyward... In the Cyward, nice. The Skyward series. It is Overcast Slam to take the blue side. And Dragon's Defined in the orange. A best of five series to decide who will win in week two. Yes, the names on uh, Dragon's Divine are a bit uh, confusing there. Baby is baby. Uh, 5x, x7. It's actually 5 times pi times 7, but uh, you don't see characters. Is Spirals, and Darth Myths is commonly known as Galaxy. With all of that cleared up, let's get ourselves going into this one. As this one, early pressure from Overcast Cyan. Trying to get themselves on the board early. Really put the pressure on Dragon's Divine. They're the team that got a sweep last week. They're going to see, and they're going to try to add more to it here. They swept Illusion White uh, in that series. Whereas on the other side, for Dragons Defiant, it took on one to Game 5, and you can see a bit of a disparity here. Blue Sabres will score first for Overcast Cyan, as this one bounces off the walls ever so lightly. He's able just to chip this one over Baby. Baby didn't want to hug that front post and have the ball go over him, but he, even with the middle of the net covered, the ball still found the top part of the net. Dragons Defiant. Already being put under um, a lot of pressure. We really haven't seen them get any offense. Looking for a solo play. That's really been it for Overcast. Uh, oh, sorry. Dragons Defined. Uh, so far, has been mostly just solo plays from them. Uh, it's been very difficult to break out against uh, Overcast San San. Just trying to hold through in this midfield. Not trying to play so aggressively. Instead, just kind of uh, hold the midfield and wait for their turn. As Blue Sabres will score again. Uh, he had the easiest job on this play. Bromank sets it up and gets the demo as well. Clearing the path for Blue Sabres, a fellow Skyward Series commentator to score that one. I am now leading 2-0. Sabres, two touches off the ceiling. My goodness. Sabres gets, some, gets two goals and immediately trying to pull out a third one here in a very mechanical fashion. Sabres on the solo play. I've only seen him try to go for a ceiling double. I don't know if that was intentional from him. 
don't know how to play. This one's go, going towards the net. Say, Gabe is there to save it, but it will be scored by Galaxy. As Overcast say on there, a little overconfident on their positioning. Bromank left for a boost, and no one was back. Sold you, Gabe was taking a very wide rotation to get some uh, extra boost and boost pads. And, over, and Overcast Lion, they left that hole open. Bang is the find, will punch their way through that net. Again, Galaxy. Blue Sabres, though, up high, looking for another touch, maybe even another. Blue Sabres is pulling off some incredible mechanics this uh, so far, and we're only, we're only a minute and a half into this one, and already I'm quite impressed by the uh, mechanical show he's putting on for us. But, but unfortunately for him, he hasn't really resulted any goals from those mechanical plays. It's mostly been due to kind of scrappy gameplay, some scruffy ones as well. Demo plays, passing the goals that you won't really see on the highlight board. As Sabres... Oh, he gets a fake on here as well. Bromank going to hit this one to the side, avoid the immediate challenge there from Galaxy in front. Baby and Spyro was both jumping up for it. They, one of them gets a clear. Sabres looking in front for Bromank. Ian keeping control. going to take this boost as well. Trying to push the boost away from Dragons are fine, but you saw Baby there. He didn't actually need to go for that one, uh, that boost, because he had enough in the tank. Bromank, though, on the other side, has nothing left. And he's just getting light touches here. Keeping the ball close. Baby, though, will win this challenge. So do Gabe up, but not for himself. Spirals comes onto it, and Spirals, the one thing you need to pay attention to him is his dribble plays. His, his ground game uh, was absolutely magnificent uh, la uh, in the first years. I can remember that. Got a couple amazing uh, plays as well. So far, most of this game has been in the air. Although not high air, definitely an aerial uh, baby, though. Keeping this one up. up. Blue Sabres punches it into the corner. Looking for another goal is Overcast Cyan. After getting scored on once, their lead is now in jeopardy. Romank on target, but waiting there with open arms is Galaxy. Romank past Spirals. He has a little bit of space here in the corner, looking for a chance in front, looking for another one. This one's still popping, and here comes Sabres to put it in, still on the line. And Spirals gets the all-crucial save. But Sion, they're not done just yet. Sabres looking in front, cleared by Galaxy. He's getting chased by by Bromank, and Soldier Gable push it once again into that orange half. The boost of this Dragons Defiant team can't be on uh, very high levels. And that triple commit coming from them. Here comes Sabres to score off the bar and in. And at some point for Overcast Cyan, with all the pressure they were having, with the amount of double commits, triple commits they were forcing out of their opponents, it was going to go in. And of course, it had to be Blue Sabres to score eight shots already. And that's the number of shots that everybody else in this lobby has combined. No shortage of offense from this man. I see looking for a passing field. Spirals is up, off the back wall, he's looking for a second one, tapped in front, no follow up there from Dragons of Fine, a beautiful setup from Spirals. But the Dragons of Fine, I need to be a little more confident in their players' abilities. I talked about Spirals' ground game, but he can hit those double taps too. This one's going towards the net, Bromank saves, but Galaxy, saved by Blue Sabres. Okay, Scion. Their clears really didn't help them there on defense, had to make a couple, multi a couple saves, one after the other. And they're still having to face this aggression. Sabres to clear. And it seems like Dragons to find. Trying to put at least one person on every single challenge possible. This one in front. Saved by uh, Bromank. And Galaxy, that one was on target. Baby now going back. But Bromank is going to force him into a bit of a misplay here. But he recovers and gets the 50-50. Allows the pass to Spirals. Gabe going to chase him down. Spirals up with the flip reset. Pass Bromank. This one. <laughs> Now, I don't know what he was going for there, but he's still on top of the ball, and I think for Dragons to find, it's more than what they were asking from him there. Bromank, challenged immediately by Galaxy, Bromank didn't feel the pressure there of any of the players near him, really. He knew, he knew that someone was going to be on top of him, but he didn't really feel it until it actually came. Galaxy will to score this one. Dragons to find only one away from tying up this game. Once again, facing a very close situation. Baby bumped away by Bromank. Bromank just going to clear away. It feels Dragons to find they are able to jump on a lot of things, but it does also feel that sometimes the challenges are just a little too slow. As Blue Saber scores another one. He's on a roll. No stopping for Blue Sabres. As he gets this little touch 
right into the back of the net. It was all completely unnecessary touch there, but he decided to do it, go for it anyways. And you know, for shooting that many times, for resulting in every single goal for your team, Blue Sabres easily deserves that MVP level performance for game one. He was the one to score all the goals. He was the one to, to really make the major push for Overcast Scion to take this first game. And to start the series off well. As all teams getting ready for their next appearance. Overcast Scion. Off with the lead. They do wait for the uh, Dragons to find to ready up. What a great start for Overcast Cyan. And really a lot of it came down to Blue Sabres being able to so score so efficiently. But look at the assists as well. Bromank with two. Solduk Gay with one. It wasn't like Blue Sabres was doing all the work himself. He had players backing him up uh, every step of the way. And have to talk about the saves as well from them. Five saves from Overcast Cyan. Dragons of Find had to make it eight on their side. A lot of them did come from Blue Sabres' shots, but Romek as well had four of his own. Couldn't score any of them, but he's definitely trying to put pressure on this uh, orange net. Dragons of Find definitely the ones feeling it right now. They're feeling overcast esports cyan closing in on them. We do wait for Spirals to join. There he is. When we get into game two, Overcast Esports with an astounding uh, play from Sabres in game one. He, he, uh, and who knows if he'll be able to keep up that MVP level performance. Is Bowman going early in here on Galaxy Wolf? Blue well, Sabres waiting back and for Overcast Scion, I mentioned it really early in this as this one's going to go back. So do Gabe. A uh, very fortunate uh, spawn there. He got them up the field and they actually put him in a great position to save that. <laughs> Overcast Sign will take that and they'll run with it. Baby into the corner. But Overcast Sign are doing so well, and I think you'll notice it so evidently here on offense. Is they uh, ex they exploit how well they position against Dragons to find, how much pressure do the Dragons to find are feeling. Because if they take that boost, like you see there from Soul Duke Gabe, then they can sit back a little further, let Dragons to find try to clear the ball on him. A lot of times it's Blue Sabres to collect it, Blue Sabres to go for this play. But he gets a demo here. On Spirals, Bromank had none. So do Gabe, gonna jump up and challenge Baby, but Baby dunks it away. Blue Sabres saves it into the team's corner. It's a double commit here. Well, now Blue Sabres to get that touch away and give his team a little more space, but Spirals looking for a second, can't touch it. So do Gabe to clear. And this one will roll its way around. Darth Myths tap out, but Blue Sabres waiting. Blue Sabres off the wall to himself. And Baby's there to save. And last game had, I believe, 13 combined saves from both teams. And we're already seeing that repeated here in game two. No stoppage of tons of shots, but also tons of great stands. Viral is saved by Soldu Gabe. And uh, let's see how many we have now. We have a good four saves already. Gabe off to the side wall. Here comes Broman going for the redirect. And Sabres went for one earlier in game, uh, later in the latter part of game one. Just a as a last second uh, fun goal, because uh, at that point his team was, had won. Uh, but you can see Bromank playing a bit ambitious there with the passing play. And sometimes you just have to go for that show that you really aren't afraid of your opponents. As this one, a double commit from Dragons of Fine. They've done it a couple times so far in this offensive half. Feels like they're trying to play faster than Overcast Scion in that, in that sense, and it's not really doing it. It's actually making them play slower. Because with these double commits, it takes them longer to rotate back into position. The Sabres keeps it to himself. Looking for a touch off the back wall, but Spirals is waiting and Spirals will recover. Spirals, another mechanical uh, player of his team. Have you seen him go for multiple double tap attempts? And he always forces Overcast Scion to have to expect that it could happen. That that double tap could go in because he had one last game that very nearly found the back of the net. As the double commit now, Sabres waiting back. And this is what Overcast Scion does, does so well. That midfield presence is just so great. And Baby going for a musty out of his own defensive half. Well, do Gabe. He's sidewall, so this one's going to pinch in field. Sabres. Not the touch he wanted, but it does go under Galaxy. So do uh, dunks by Baby. Baby puts it in the corner. Dragons are fine. 
done a lot better at this game, keeping it this close. Uh, Sabres' offense has been muted for the time being. Only two shots so far in this game. Sabres. A large pop. Spirals is there. Cyan, they, I, I feel like what for, they need to do is they need to start getting demos. They need to start watching their aggression as well, because this one, by the other way, it's off the post from Spirals. A beautiful play from Galaxy Wolf there. Went for the demo, knew it was a great idea. And he got past the defender with it too. But the shot from Spirals was wide. Dragons of Fine in a game this close, uh, those chances need to be scored. Yeah, how do you put it anywhere on that net? It would have been a goal, no no doubt. Baby. I'm gonna clear it to the corner. Bromank is waiting. Bromank. I will turn in the right direction to get it. Look at his space. He's using it. He's waiting. He's gonna force a player out. And now he gets some offense. But Spirals is waiting. Bromank did make an error there. Going for uh, just a kind of a lob touch and field. This one off Gabe. Off the back wall. Baby is waiting. And the defense of Dragons Defined has been nothing short of... Uh, stay, uh, uh, of uh, strong. They've been an absolute fort. Baby. We'll do Gabe. Past him. Baby. One on one. Looking for an insane flick. Went for the backflip flick. Maybe a little too mechanical there. But he wanted to, but he wanted to, to go for something a little flashy. See if he could beat past the defense in style. Overcast. Cyan. Uh, definitely feeling a bit nervous seeing Dragons to find go for these mechanical plays that they haven't gone in last game. That's the thing about Overcast Sign, when they are when they are down, those mechanical plays seem to kind of shut down, but when they're up. Uh they, when they're up or when they're tired or when they're confident, it's well that's when it shines, but Sign will let this one drop. As we go to game two overtime, only one goal will be scored. Uh, to decide this game. There's Bill Mank in the corner, trying to make it end early. Pass in front for Sabres. Sabres up for it. Off the back wall. Gabe jumping, but he's gonna allow Sabres to go for a double. Sabres! A very difficult angle, but not one he would be unused to. Bromank in front. Spirals to touch. Sabres on it. Bromank looking for a demo on Galaxy. And that's the right play to make. Sabres scores again. And it's Bromank to play the Enforcer. And I said it earlier this game. I, I predicted it. I said Overcast uh, needs to get demo plays. They need to get a bit physical here. And right when they do it, that's when they score the game-winning goal. Overcast Cyan with the only goal there from Blue Sabres. He scored all five of the goals so far this series. Dragons of Find kept it close. But in the end, just a single bump play from Cyan was able to do it. As we were uh, into overtime in that one. It was definitely less than a minute. Game 6. Overcast Cyan now leading 2-0. This could be where they they just maybe they sweep again for Overcast Cyan. They're two, leading 2-0 in the series. They're, and it is close. Dragons to find not letting them have this easy, but it is Overcast Cyan just to kind of edge them out here. And I think a lot of it comes from just being able to hold the midfield and getting much more sustained offense uh, than Dragons to find. Dragons to find. Uh, their, their defense seems to be a bit slow at challenging at times. And especially when it comes to their aggression and their double commits. Uh, Dragons Defiant has had a lot of issues with that. We'll do Gabe out to Bromank. Bromank's going... He's been going for some wild plays. Talk about the mechanics from Sabres. Bromank's trying to show off him, the, the ones that he has. This one downfield. Baby is waiting. Baby will save, but it's only back to Bromank. That touch will elude Blue Sabres. Will also get past Galaxy Wolf somehow. As Blue Sabres with the flick, so we'll do Gabe to follow, and that one will be right under Baby. Overcast Cyan measured their opportunities. You can see Blue, Tab Blue Sabres, the gears in his head were turning. And when Gabe called out that he was going for it, Blue Sabres allowed the pass to him, but Blue Sabres wasn't done there. He went for a bump, and he's getting physical with these team. The first time Blue Sabres has not scored it for the for this um, Overcast Cyan team so far this series, but he does score right here. Now his team's up 2-0. Sabres getting involved wherever he can. 
as this one from Gazuwolf. Not a bad idea to challenge that one. Unfortunately, it goes right into the bumper of Blue Sabres, and that is the worst player to have the ball go to right now because he is not he is not having issues putting that ball on target and making it go in. It's Bomank. Up, oh, I can't get it. Blue Sabres. Being it close. Here's Long Baby. I'm gonna put a touch towards the blue net, but Soldier Gabe is waiting. He's gonna put one back. The cast cyan. I have talked a bit about their clears and uh, how I don't. Oh, I, I, I think I've mentioned that I, I haven't been the. I'm never really the biggest fan of clears, but they put them into very interesting places. They put them into smart places, and more importantly, a lot of these clears, they usually have someone following up. As this, uh, this one from Spirals, they're trying to get a flip reset play, but still not working for Dragons to find. It seems like they're going for more low risk, solo play oriented, oriented uh, ideas on offense, and instead of maybe a full team effort. As uh, Overcast Cyan has definitely shown that they can do. Rivals, keeping it up. Baby will be up to this one incredibly fast, and he's looking immediately over to Galaxy. Galaxy Wolf, do the back wall. Soul Duke Gabe jumping on it. Lands in the corner. Soul Duke Gabe clears away. Ba Baby's there. Backflip across for Bromank. Bromank has nothing left. He has to leave this. The challenge from Overcast. Cyan doesn't come. They don't expect a shot from Baby to be that good, but this one from Spirals can be! Oh, Bromank off the off his own ceiling! Very nearly there for Dragons to find. But Bromank with some heroics off the ceiling, but here comes Baby to score right back. Never cast Cyan. I talked so well about Bromank's save, but this one he's more likely wants to forget. A huge whiff from Bromank. A duality of his play there on defense. Very errant. As Baby will score that one off a mistake. And now, once again, pressure on uh, on this blue Overcast Scion team. As Bromank up front, looking for a flip reset as well. Trying to look for a dunk on Baby. Going for a wild play. Soul Duke Gabe in front. Here comes Saber, stopped by Spiral. Bromank up himself. This one dropped down. Baby's there to save, but a lot of players commit blue Sabres now. He's not going to follow this. He'll let Galaxy Wolf clear. Baby, trying to get this follow up touch. Bangs the fine, starting to position a little more aggressively on on defense, just to clear the ball out a little more effectively. Sabers waiting back, gets this one past them, and he gets bumped into the boost as well. Romank looking for a massive, massive shot, looking to follow this too. Can't touch it. All I need is one more goal, and uh, they'll once again be uh, holding the cards to victory. Galaxy saved by Romank. And those backboard touches, so important at this level. Every player can reach them, can read them. We're at that point where players start going for double taps as well. If the backboard wasn't in any more danger, a double tap definitely gonna definitely going to be a bit scary. As you can see, Spirals there going for a double tap himself, not off the back wall, but off the side wall. As he keeps on this one, demoed away by Bromank for his efforts. Cyan being caught in their own back end. No one really positioned all that aggressively for Cyan. Although this challenge from Bromank, absolute win, an absolute goal from Blue Sabres, who just so happened to be in the right place at the right time when this play occurred. Look at him, he's all the way upfield going for boost. Blue Sabres just so happened to notice that the ball, it, it just so happened to fall on top of him. Blue Sabres will score again off of a very fortunate play there, because a lot of players in that situation are just going to rotate immediately back after getting boost, but... He said he rotated in front of net, wanted to go uh, with a much wider rotation. Just so happened the ball followed and uh, hit, the top, hit the top of his car. He was just so happened to be in the right position. Savers. Another goal from him. As he bumps up Baby here in front, looking for a teammate. Overcast Iron are not done yet. They want to score again. Is this one from Gabe in front? You see Sabers already on top of that one. But still, Overcast Scion on offense. Bromank in front for Gabe. Saved on the line. Sabres to put it in the follow through. And another goal for Sabres. As this one, overwhelming pressure. They were playing close quarters combat, Overcast Scion. All three players were willing to play aggressive there in that final third. And it benefits them. With so, so much aggression, those shots had to be placed very well for Scion. And they made it work so well. The reason why you, those only teams don't want to play that is because you have to put in perfect shots from that close of a distance. Because if it gets dunked, if it gets blocked, that could be a counterattack the other way. And Odd Man rushes at this point in the game. Are definitely something that Overcast Sign are going to try their best to avoid. As Sabres demoed away, but this one upfield. Caught by Galaxy. Bromank to get through. Fire was up and will clear it away. 
Sabres. That one for Bromank and Soldu, but both of them removed from the field with one challenge. Galaxy off the back wall, and he could have just shot there. Both players are stuck in the net there uh, for Overcast Cyan. It seemed like neither one of them was really in the position to make that save. This one in front, Sabres will clear it, and he has space to go for follow-up. Instead, he's going to go for a demo play. Going to remove the, def the defense. It's Overcast Cyan letting this time tick down. Looking for maybe one more goal is Dragons defined. But Bromank with this flick. And, Darth, and uh, Galaxy Wolf keeping it up somehow uh, for Dragons to find. But it will now drop. Overcast Cyan. A clean 3 0 sweep from them. It was the Blue Sabres show, in all honesty. Scored all but one goal in, it, in all the matches for Overcast Cyan. And they're still unbeaten in the season. They haven't even dropped a single game. Overcast Zion with, great, with a great performance. And that will end it up for tonight. I know, a very quick series. Uh, but that will end it here. Uh, congratulations to Overcast Zion on that win. As I am going to, again, end the stream uh, very soon again. Thank you all so much for joining. It means a lot. Make sure that uh, there will be a match tomorrow. Again, make sure to check that schedule that I just posted on Twitter. As well as go support. Uh... Go support uh, Overcast uh, One Up Gaming, uh, which was, which is connected with Overcast Esports and the tournament series that Overcast Esports and One Up Gaming do run. It mean a lot to go support those tournaments run by uh, One Up Gaming and Overcast Esports, and go and go join their Discord as well. Go join it. Go support over. Go support those orgs. Again, that will end it tonight. A very quick, a very quick series. That's just sometimes how it goes. We are going to get a raid to end off this night. Again, thank you all so much for joining. Support UFC again. We got a match tomorrow to look at, and make sure to join me there because I promise you, the Support stream will never end. We still go even on Halloween. Have an amazing evening, everybody.